G'day guys, today I'm going to do a review on the Samsung Gear Fit. Um, I know this product's been out for quite a while now, um, nearly two years actually, but um, I just got it in the last week and, and thought I'd do a review. I haven't done a review in a while, so thought I'd upload it for anyone that wanted to have a quick look. Just a, just a real basic run through, I'm not going to go too much into it, just show you what it's like and, and some of the basic features. Um, so this is the box that it comes in. Very similar to all the other Samsung stuff, although they're moving away from this kind of timber look and going more towards a sleeker kind of look. Um, this has still got the old timber look, which is still very nice. So some of the specs on the back, um, the main things uh, is that it is waterproof, so you can pretty much wear it in the shower or get it wet, which is a, a big bonus. And you've got Bluetooth 4.0 on there as well. Also it comes with a heart rate uh, monitor and, and acceler accelerometer. Um, as a sensor which is on the back so that's pretty much the box this is the device um, super lightweight that was the first thing that I noticed when I picked it up so just taking a quick look around you've got uh, some branding on the side gear fit this is a rubber band uh, rubber with some ridges on the inside so opens with that so you've just got two little two little prongs it says Samsung on there if that's gonna focus let's have a look and that's worse there we go so it says Samsung on there you've got lots of different holes so whatever size wrist you've got um, not a problem super easy to to click in just pops straight in there and it won't come off okay um, moving around underneath so You've got the, the power prongs there up the top, which is where you um, put the little cradle on, which I'll show you in a minute. That's how you charge the device. And then the heart rate sensor in the middle, which I haven't taken the plastic off of yet, but uh, <laughs> that's still on there. On the side, you've got this little power button here. So that's your power button and also your home button. So when you press that, it jumps back to your clock. So lots of different things you can do with this, how you can set it up. I'll run through some of the basic things. So um, it's a touch screen. Uh, this is one of the clock displays that you can have. So it's 16 past 10. Uh, it gives you the date and also the weather. Okay, so it's a touch screen. You just slide it up. Now you get all your notifications through here, your media, which basically you can just control your music from, um, and settings, and find my device, which is also pretty cool. So you can press that. That's not doing it. There we go. And then you just hit the little find button and it will actually set an alarm off on your phone if you lose it. So that's quite handy. Um, settings, there's quite a few things in settings. You've got your battery life. Now battery life on this, I charged this up fully last night. So this has been running all day and it's now 10 o'clock at night um, and I've still got 53% battery left. So pretty good with the battery usage. Clock, you can change what type of clock you want. Uh, wallpaper, you can change all the wallpapers, the background, display, the brightness, Bluetooth connectivity, blocking mode, um, profile, a few other things. won't go through all of them, but that's basically what's in the menu. Okay. Um, you can change this to be worn on the left or the right wrist, depending on what your preference is. Um, I wear it on my left, so it's set up like that. Um, some of the other things you've got, you've got your heart rate monitor, exercise, pedometer, um, sleep. So it, it kind of um, monitors your sleep functions. You've also got a stopwatch on here uh, and a timer and find my device as we saw before. So um, in the settings, I'll show you quick settings. You can also have this horizontal or vertically display. So in display, you can change the brightness. You can swap which wrist you wear it on. You can rotate the display. Um, wake up gesture, you can change the font, screen timeout, so a lot of settings on here. Um, I have only had it for a few days um, on my wrist, so pretty new to it, but yeah, press the home button and it goes back on. Um, so I'll just quickly put it on my wrist behind the camera here. It's very easy to pop on, you can do it with one hand kind of thing. Um, pops straight on the wrist. So that's pretty much what it looks like on underneath I like to I like to have it vertically uh, because I find when you have it horizontally you find yourself bending your wrist um, 
and it's really uncomfortable. So that's how you view a watch, which is the way I like it. So I can just scroll through like that. Okay. When you get the phone calls as well, phone calls pop up on here. So you can't actually answer the phone calls using the using the device. Uh, you can either reject the call or reject it with sending a, a text message. So a preset text message. So that's that's pretty much it. As I said, I just use it basically for the time and also getting my notifications um, at work so I don't have to pull my phone out all the time, which is really handy. Um, you can load pretty much every app. You'll get notifications through here, so YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, your emails, text messages, all those kind of things come through here. So um, I'll show you the charger quickly. This is the charger that comes with it. So just a one piece, you can't disconnect that out of the charger. And then you actually get this. It's a micro USB charger that plugs straight into the side of this little cradle. Now this little cradle is really small and this is the only way you can charge the device. You can't plug it in with the micro USB. So you plug the micro USB into the side of the cradle, just like that. And then what you do is you get the device um, and see the pins on the back, they line up. So you just snap it on there, push it in um, like that and it sits on the back. So that's clicked on there now. Obviously it's not plugged into the PowerPoint at the minute so it's not gonna charge, um, but that's how you do it. And then you just sit it on the desk or something like that and that will charge away. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, just yeah, real kind of quick review. Didn't wanna to go too much into everything. Um, just a quick look around it, show you guys what it was like. It is really cool, I like it. Uh, it cost me, I think it only cost me about $147 uh, which is pretty good value compared to some of the other ones out there with this awesome screen. Uh, it goes perfectly with my Note 5, so uh, really like it, really happy with it. I will be probably getting a, another tech watch, I guess, down the track. I do like the idea of them. I haven't really you know, looked into it that much, so this was kind of the first one. I just wanted to get a cheap one, um, just as I said before, basically just to show my notifications um, and see the time and it does that perfectly. So perfect for going to the gym as well. You can leave your phone in your in your gym bag, you can change your music, change your tracks. Um, you can also see your notifications while you're working out. And super light, it's really, really light. When you've got it on your wrist, you hardly even notice it's there. So it is really cool. The pedometer, um, I don't know how accurate that is. I don't think it's very accurate. I reckon I've done seven point no just on 7.8 k's today which would be good if i actually did but i don't know anytime you move your wrist it, it it kind of moves the steps i mean just by shaking it around you can get it to you can get it to um change the steps it's not doing it now but it does do it so that's that but yeah really like it cheap it's not going to hang around for a while i think they're getting rid of these um with the new gear watches coming out which is the gear gear s2 i think it is or something like that which is the round circular one so they've obviously got a lot more features this is basically just yeah for for sport and fitness um pedometer that kind of thing pedometer exercise you know you've got a stopwatch and things in here so yeah i'm rambling on now so i'll get out of i'll get out of here but that's pretty much it um, thanks for watching guys. I will have some more reviews coming. Um, I've got uh, the Beats Wireless Pro that I've got. I've got a, another couple of little items that I picked up. So um, stay tuned. Leave a comment uh, if you want me to review anything or you've got any suggestions or something um, pretty new to this uh, video game. So yeah, anything I can improve, just let me know and I'll try and do it for future videos. But uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.